Hey you guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in and happy 4th of July. Hope y'all are having a good Independence Day or had a good Independence Day whenever, depending on whenever you're seeing this video. Um, I wanted to show you guys this new uh, Trevisa knife that I picked up off of Amazon uh, yesterday. Um, it's called the Mense or Mense Sai. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But I was cruising along Amazon, looking at knives, and uh, this brand popped up, and I they had some really cool looking knives. So I checked into them, and I looked on the <clears throat> YouTube, and found a couple of videos for a couple of the knives. Uh, this one in particular, I think I've seen Bees do a video on, and then there's another one that uh, that uh, Jared did a, a video on. I think a couple of other people. A different style but this one is the one that I picked so yeah I'm gonna do a little faux unboxing here because I just wanted to show you um, everything that it came in and with I thought it was was kind of a little impressive but yeah here it is this is the Trevisa Mensai comes in this uh, outer sleeve it even says here that it comes with gift box so yeah comes with that outer sleeve and I don't know why they're not the same color but uh, anyway comes with this nice uh, box I like the design on it better material and craftsmanship it's a, it's a good sturdy box too it's not cheap or flimsy uh, and then it comes with this paperwork here that I thought was really interesting thanks for choosing Teresa blah 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 limited lifetime warranty uh, don't abuse your knife which you should never do um, and then on the back of this piece of paper, it has maintenance instructions, and then it has some sharpening instructions, uh, with a whetstone and a rod. I thought that was kind of cool. I've never seen, uh, a knife company put sharpening instructions in with their knife before. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, then you got your product, uh, product certification card. Excuse me, I can't speak today. Uh product name is Trevisa Knife, apparently. They got your QC stamp. Two months ago, almost two months ago, this passed quality control. So that's good to know. So throw that in there, and then you get a really nice little microfiber towel with the Trevisa logo stamped in it. It's actually a really nice uh, rag. And then you get the Trevisa microfiber bag which is again a very nice quality bag so you get all that and a knife and interestingly enough it did come in this plastic bag by the way um, it's not cut out the boxes not cut out to the knife shape I noticed it was just kind of laid in there like this I'm not sure if this is just a generic box that they send all their knives out in or whatever but yeah, that was just an observation. Usually they're cut out to the shape of the knife. But anyways, you get all that stuff, all that accoutrement with the knife. I thought that was kind of neat. Thought I just wanted to show you guys that. Now let's get into the knife. This is the Trevisa Mensai. Look at that blade. I love this shape of this blade. Um, look at that wicked little clip point comes down to I'm calling this a worn a clip point worn cleaver is what my brain wants to <clears throat> make my mouth say so that's what we're gonna say clip point worn cleaver um, 154 cm I hope you guys can see that I got the sun shining through my window here a little bit it is 154 cm blade and it's got that uh titanium uh, nano coating a little stone wash on there that is the only markings on this knife is the uh, the blade steel there's nothing else on here and they got this little uh, their logo here following in like a Savivi or uh, Wii footsteps their logo on the pivot 
I like. I do like that there's not a lot of branding. There's, you don't have the name strewn across the side of the freaking knife or anything like that. Uh, I did notice that one of the other models did have Trevisa written on the clip. I didn't really care for that. I like the knife, but I don't, I didn't like that. Anyways, all right, here we go. Like I said, 154 CM, titanium nano coating. Um, G10 is the only offering they have for the scales. You either get a red and black like this one with the black nano coating, or you can get a blue and black uh, with uh, just a satin blade. I, of course, chose the red and black. I just think it looks better. All right, so let's just get into this thing. Like I said, G10 uh, scales. All the uh, screws, ooh, look at that. All the screws are countersunk on this one, uh, which I haven't seen a lot of in a lot of the knives that I've been looking at, <coughs> which is, is nice. Me personally, I prefer a flush screw. I like a flush screw just because um, there's no lip. I don't really care for the lip that it leaves when you countersink the screws. Um, plus, you know, dirt and dust and, and lint and gunk and stuff gets in there. It kind of bugs me. But, nonetheless, that is a nice addition. Uh, the pocket clip is inset, flush with the scales, but the screws are not. A little, couple of mushroom heads poking out there. But it does not affect how it goes in and out of your pocket at all. <clears throat> It might have if they hadn't have sunk the clip down, but it's a, it's a nice clip. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. It's a, it's perfect. It's got a big fat lanyard oval for you lanyard nuts out there. Uh, you notice these uh, weight reduction holes in the uh, scales there. Nested liners is another big plus I dig that not a lot of people do the nested liners it's nice to see um, this knife I just while I got it in my brain this knife was $76.99 on Amazon and right now it is 11% off so I got it for under $70 just throwing that out there 154 cm ball bearings Smooth as butter. Look at that drop. This thing is just so smooth to get past that little detent ball. Look at that. Oh, so smooth. Uh, the detent is pretty weak on this one. Uh, can be failed. Flip it open real easily. But that just gives it that, that smooth, smooth action that we all love so much g10 backspacer um the one thing i thought was a little strange if you can see here is uh when the backspacer starts down here it's flush with the scales but i'm sorry getting a little blurry once it starts up the back there it raises up a little bit they didn't uh see right about there is where it starts it's raised up off the scale just a tad uh i don't know why they didn't keep that flush maybe it was for texture right there I'm not sure but uh, if that bothers people you might want to that into consideration if you're looking into this knife but as you can see it's really not that big of a deal you can see right there it just barely pops up over those scales but yeah G10 backspacer you got your thumb stud obviously have you seen me flip it open already and I know you've been looking at these holes right here and asking yourself, will it? Well, <sighs> yes, it will. But it helps if your hands aren't a little bit sweaty. And you gotta, you gotta dig it into that middle hole. And it helps if you give it a little bit of wrist, just because that hole is, if they would have switched these two holes, it would be a lot easier to do that 
you can thumb flick it, you can spidey flick it, you can wrist flick it, and you can finger flick it. A really, really nice knife, honestly. I was pretty impressed, um, especially because I got it for under $70. <laughs> This is a Chinese company. I did look them up. They, um, Trevisa used to, or still does, supply OEMs. And somewhere along the line, they decided they wanted to start making their own knives also. So they did. And I believe they do both now. I don't know exactly who they supplied, but they were an OEM supplier who went into the knife making business on their own. You can look them up. All their info is up there online to look at. Uh, but yeah, for this being my first, this is pretty nice. I kind of like it. I really, really love that blade shape. Got that. Got pretty good grip on it. I mean, I got big hands, so. I kind of tend to want to go further back on it, which I kind of like that little spot right here. You can see how it's just slightly indented there. I could put my pinky on that and, uh, and get a pretty good grip. Or you could choke it up. There's no finger choil, just a sharpening choil. I mean, you could get a little bit of a finger on there if you needed to, but... I would be worried about slicing my finger on that. Um, great, comfortable pinch grip. So you can work that, that freaking savage tip. Look at that thing. This thing is, is sharp. Um, let's get a stuff out of the way here get those measurements on this thing for you we are looking at just a skosh i mean fraction fraction of an inch over three inches depending on the angle you're at it looks like three inches but it's just a skosh over you can see that um uh, seven and three quarters total length um i did tell you it was running on ball bearings yeah i believe if i remember correctly they said that it's between 59 and 60 rockwell um i'd have to double check you guys can just jump, jump on amazon scroll through the pictures it tells you everything um Yeah, I wanted to get a weight on this thing. Let me grab my scale. And I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. Because for some reason... Oh, sweet. Right there it works. Alright. We are 4.9 ounces. So 5 ounces. Um... I don't mind that at all. It doesn't feel like five ounces to me. It actually surprised me. I didn't think it was that heavy. Let's see where the balance point is on this thing. Right. Right just past the pivot. Oops. That was stupid. Don't ever do that on camera. That's not a, a smart thing to do. But yeah. It's like, I like it. I really do. I just really wish they would have switched those holes. That's all. Trevisa Mense. A clip point worn cleaver. That would be a very nice addition to anybody's collection. Yeah, check it out on Amazon. You can get it for under 70 bucks right now. 11% off before the deal's done. Thanks for hanging out, checking out with me. You guys go enjoy your 4th of July, or I hope you already had a great 4th of July 
and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.